welcome back everyone to skincare and beauty with perky perkins so today i'm so excited because as you read for my title i just got my boxy charm premium box in the mail fedex lost it and it was supposed to arrive on monday and it just happened to arrive this morning so i'm very excited and i'm very thankful that it's finally here now before i go any further you guys know the drill i would love and appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and if you could give me a big old thumbs up giving me a little bit of engagement whether it's a thumbs up or a comment down below really helps my channel this way youtube can actually recommend my videos to others that actually have the same interest as you as well if you're not aware boxycharm premium is a 35 dollars a month subscription um which is separate from the base box the base box is 25 dollars a month and that you get five full-size items this one we get six to seven full-size items and a minimum value of 175 dollars now this is not my pr because as some might know by now i am a boxy charm affiliate and I'm so beyond thankful to BoxyCharm for the opportunity. I truly am, but this is not my PR. Um, you know, just like everyone else, they're having shipping delays even for PR, and that my PR box is scheduled to arrive next week on the 20th. So, um, and I believe my base box is also supposed to arrive at the same time. So I'm gonna do a boxy versus boxy video for both my base boxes, my PR versus my um, paid subscription. But anyways, again, this is not PR. I paid for it with my own money. So I will always be honest and truthful to you guys, my audience, because I would never want to lie to you or deceive you basically i'm gonna let you always know how i feel about the box about the products um, whatever situations might be going on you know what i mean so let's get to it and let's begin this unboxing so i've cut the slit sneak peek let's put it down so because it's the first item but wait well, we're back to no cards, you guys. So I do not know what variation I have or anything like that. So no cards. That's that's a bummer big time because, you know, but anyways, hopefully it's just a mistake. So I don't know what variation I have or anything like that. But anyways, my first item was this Dermel, Dermelect. I believe it's pronounced it's the extra lash volumizer what's that oh this is an eyelash and eyebrow booster serum it actually helps your lashes and brow hair get longer and fuller i have been looking for a product like this for my lashes because they are pitiful pitiful i used to have a lash serum that i really liked but it ran out of course and it's expensive like a good lash serum is expensive um, I will write the prices on the screen I'll just go into the app and check them out but yeah so I'm very glad to get this I was almost thinking it was another mascara so I'm glad it's not I'm glad it's a lash serum to help boost my lashes and my brow hair cuz girl has very minimal brow hair and lash hair it's from fenty you guys this is the portable contour and concealer brush this one i'm kind of iffy on only because i do own like two other fenty brushes that i got in bundle sets back in the day in fact actually i'm wearing fenty foundation so that's ironic because i did not expect this but um but yeah, so this, um, I've tried some of the other Fenty brushes in the past and I just wasn't a big fan, like their foundation brush. But I do like how firm this is and it pops, like it comes up and down kind of easy. Um, so that's neat. So I'll definitely be excited to try it out for contour. I'm not sure about concealer because it's kind of big to get down there, but we'll see, right? 
so I'm excited I have this. I know this is well over 20 bucks. Oh, right here. yes. I have recently been getting into milk makeup, so I'm excited to try this out. This is the Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel, Long Wear Gel Liner. These um, typically retail for $18, $20, you know, something like that. And I got shade biz shade biz Ooh, yes so this is like a blue tout oh how do they know me look blue hair i'm actually going to touch up my hair and if anyone has any tips on how to tone my hair down so i could get more pigment without it bleaching leave me a comment below i need some help but anyways this is a right here it's i like the tip Oh, it's like a midnight blue. That's awesome. And I like that it has the smudger on the end. I always smudge out my liners. So I'm so glad to get this. I literally have this right now on my Sephora card. The item I got was this uh, lip bullet lipstick from MAC. This is shade Debutante. Well, this is not cute. So my lipstick sadly has like some nicks on it. So I'm not gonna use this at all. I think it has to do with the heat. Like honestly, especially with FedEx losing my package. It has like these little like, you know, the little sweat bubbles, which is very common in bullet lipstick sadly um, during summer. Like even some of my lipsticks that I have back here near the window. Um, they have those little bumps because if it gets too hot before i got my air conditioner it would get so hot inside my house like it would make them sweat so it's like sweat bubbles but once it cools down properly they go away <gasps> this was my choice my Sunday Riley A plus, you guys, I love Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley and its cosmetics was the first skincare brand I actually ever really got into when I began my journey. And I loved this so much, like so much. This retinoid really, really helps give your skin a lot of hydration, smooth your skin out. And along with the lactate and plus I have the Luna oil, my skin is gonna be back to what it once was and get rid of all the ugly acne scars because this also helps remove a lot of the dark spots and pigmentation issues. So I'm so glad I got this in my box. This is retailed well over $100. Now this was one of the choice items. Um, it was between this, the, the CEO cream, and um, the Ola Henderson uh, primer and it was it was a very hard choice for me because I really wanted the Ola Henderson primer maybe I'll have it in add-ons next month since it wasn't available this month I will love that. is the Ciate London editor's palette this is cute packaging it's, it's it's like a hard plastic and in the back it says uh vegan and cruelty free so that's cool i think they're um going through a transition and switching all their products because i know there was like some fiasco a while back how some products were vegan and cruelty free and some were not so i think they're in transition but here are the shades you guys so the colors are nice and cute. It has a lot of shimmers. Let me try this one. These are, ooh. These felt so nice and buttery, like really, really did. I'm gonna just do it quickly on my hand. Ooh, those feel nice. I'm trying this blue right here and I want this green. I've been looking to do a blue look and a green look so oh these are so pretty 
I really really like how soft and buttery the um, the shimmers feel so I'm really excited to test this out let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to film a to makeup tutorial using all the products I received in my premium box and once I get in my base box that way I'll film it towards the end of the month so let me know if you're interested in that if not I'll just fill incorporate the makeup products in um, future you know uploads tutorials and things like that but i'm very excited to try this out now the mirror is humongous like look at this mirror but i will say like the packaging is kind of on the cheap side this totally reminds me of, like makeup revolution when it comes to packaging but i do like the colors um, the formulation feels really nice actually let me try these mattes right here I grabbed this one and this one. This is the pale pink, and then this is the darker mauvey tone. So they feel kind of nice. They're not chalky or anything so far, but again, you don't actually get a full gist of how an eyeshadow palette's gonna perform until they're your eyeballs, right? So um, definitely this is a palette I will be trying out hopefully soon. Um, because I do like the colors again even though the packaging looks kind of cheap and I will be scared if I drop this on my laminate floors because it will shatter like for real looking at this closer there's four mattes a few shimmers um, and a few uh, satin finishes which I do actually like satin eyeshadows as well especially when you have more hooded um, mature eyes satin finishes for some reason really help me like putting when I put those on a crease it really helps but I do set my crease first and it makes it look I don't know more blown out I guess you could say so excited to try this out do a quick recap my choice item the Sunday Riley a plus retinol and then my Ciate London eyeshadow palette the Fenty portable brush a milk makeup gel liner which I love gel liners bullet lipstick this is so far the only one like, eh and this lash booster so overall definitely i feel like i got my money's worth you guys the only thing i'm like eh, you know it's this bullet lipstick like so overall i'm really happy with my box again i can't give you an overall dollar value so i'll put it on the screen but i definitely feel that i got my money's worth let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of my box do you guys think it was worth it not worth it i'm really glad that this time around this was more of a nice mix where it was more makeup versus skincare because i'm trying to get less skincare even though i did choose the sunday riley but i'm trying to get more makeup less skincare since i do have an abundance a skincare in my arsenal and so yeah but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below again before we head out i would appreciate if you guys would hit that subscribe button and select all in your notifications this way you're notified the moment i do any future uploads and also down below i'm going to be linking april butchers uh, YouTube channel I'll be going live with her tomorrow Friday because I hope to get this up today which is Thursday when I'm filming um, so make sure you guys stay tuned I'm gonna be doing like a dual review and talk through of the Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette so I would love and appreciate to see if any of my perky family can join me we're right now finalizing the time so also I'll be posting it on my community tab. Now again, today I'm filming on Thursday and today, which just reminds me, I gotta do my choice. Choice day for premium is today. So make sure if you haven't done your choice for premium, if you already have premium, go and do it. Like go do it now before all the good stuff runs out. So let me know again in the comments below what you guys think of my box do you guys think it was worth it it was not worth it um which was your favorite item for my box or which was your least favorite item for my box 
But anyways, thank you all so, so very much. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you're not currently subscribed to BoxyCharm and you would love to join, I would appreciate if you can use my affiliate link down below. I do make a bit of a commission if you do use my code, but it would help me tremendously. Um, any money I do make, like I honestly mean it, like any money I make on my affiliate links, I literally reinvest it into my channel. So if you are interested in signing up and helping me out again, I would greatly appreciate. But anyways, let me wrap this up as I haven't made my choice as I'm filming this. Thank you all so much. Take care, be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.